Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. It is the Ford Transit Custom 2 litre TDCI Euro 6. Euro 6 meaning that it is emission zone compliant if you're going into ULES, Birmingham, Bath, Bristol uh, emission zones and the various other emission zones that are coming into this country. Uh, it is in trend spec, but it is a trend with a lot of additional specification added to it. It is a one keeper from new. It has covered 38,000 warranted miles. Or actually, I think it's 37,000 warranted miles. Um, it's in pretty good all-round condition, I've got to say, and the racking in the back is outstanding. Um, so a little brief uh, coverage of the specification of the vehicle, first of all. So it has factory aircon, which obviously a trend doesn't normally get. Uh, we've just thrown some limited alloy wheels on it, okay, uh, instead of the hubcaps that it had on. The, limit, the wheels that are on it do need a refurb if you're fussy. Uh, however, if you're appreciative of a set of free alloy wheels, then happy days. Um, other specification of this van, it has a factory reverse camera. Um, it has additional LED lighting on the front and back of the vehicle. Um, but the trend spec normally is, as we all pretty know, uh, as we all know or may not know, trend is kind of like limited, minus alloy wheels, minus air con. Um, but obviously this one's now got the air con, it's got a reverse camera, a few other bits. I'll see if I can remember them as I go around. So the purpose of the video is to give you an honest walk around of the vehicle, warts and all. Uh, we do point out the bad bits as well, so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Um, so most customers will watch this video and then, um, to be quite frank with you, just leave us an order and either come and collect it or get it, uh, get it delivered out to them. Um, so let's get going on condition of it. Heading up here on the roof, they haven't been worked with any roof racks or anything, so I have taken a picture of the roof. The roof is straight and tidy. You've got an air vent in the back of it. It's pretty standard nowadays from a health and safety perspective. Windscreen is a quick clear front windscreen, um, so uh, there are no major uh, stone chips, cracks or anything like that that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which we'll put a fresh 12 months on it before it goes out. On the bonnet, the bonnet is in overall good condition. Minor chipping, nothing major. We have gone around it with a bit of a touch-up stick, so there's nothing immediately obvious. We do have the standard custom little ding in the bonnet here. It's just where people aggressively push the bonnet down um, when it's been open. Uh, we'll get our dent man on it and see if we can get that sorted out on it for you. Front grill um, and bumper. Obviously all the front grills, those are all in good order. To open up the bonnet, you need the ignition key and you use it in this lock here and that will open up your bonnet for you. But everything's all in good order there. Passenger, uh, passenger side headlamp unit. Uh, they're auto lights on this, uh, it's in good order, it does have daytime running lights and also has front fog lights as well. And as you can see, the passenger side front bumper has no scuffing or anything, it's all looking very neat and tidy. And if we look down the side of the vehicle, there's a couple of parking dings on the passenger door. Again, we'll get a dent man to have a look at them for you, so by the time it's delivered to you, those should all be sorted, there's no broken paint there or anything, so it should all be good. Let's just head back around to the pass to the driver's side. So driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. And the driver's side front bumper corner, again, that's in good order with no scuffing. Looking down the driver's side of the vehicle, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Pretty straight and tidy. Driver's side front wing, a couple of minor little touch-ins to be fair. Now I'm in the sunlight, uh, we'll get those done, but there's no major damage on it at all. Uh, driver's side other wheel, as I say, it's a genuine Ford unit. It is a spare pair of wheels that we've had lying around. I think you've got a Continental tyre on there. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see. Uh, the alloy wheel just has some scuffing on it. As I say, the alloys are free. It came with hubcaps on it. Uh, we've just banged those on it for you. Uh, mirror unit, a little bit of a mark in the part. Oh, it's a bit of glue because they had like aluminous protector things on here. So a bit of tar and adhesive, we'll get that off, but the unit itself, uh, upper and lower mirrors are all in good order. Your driver's side door glass, that's all good. Driver's side door on the whole, pretty good. A couple of little minor marks. Again, touch up stick sort of stuff. Really, really little minor marks. I suspect where they've actually removed sign writing off it. Um, handle, all good. Door locks, all good. Have a look at your alignment of your door to the quarter. 
all lines up exactly as it should. Uh, no major damage on the corners of your doors. Corners, edges of the door, I should say. It's all looking good. And then looking at the sills of the vehicle, no major damage or any damage at all on those. Your gray protective strip going down the side of the vehicle, that's in good order as well. Now there is a little bit of a scratch here, okay? A little bit of a scratch, it has gone into the lacquer. Um, it is something that can potentially be built up a little bit with touching lacquer polish, touching lacquer polish, but there is that mark on it there, okay? As you can see, giving it an overall view of the side of the vehicle, it's not a standout item. But as I say, we do point out wilts and all, so there's one walk for you. Upper part of the van, as you can see, really nice and tidy. Now, it has just come back from the detailer, so there's a lovely gleam to the paintwork on this, which is why, unfortunately, you can see me wearing a pair of shorts as I hold the camera. Rear alloy wheel, again, factory alloy wheel. Again, it does have some scuff marks on it, but again, it was a free item. And then the tyre on it is a Goodyear tyre. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. And then looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Driver's side rear bumper corner. No major scuffing on there either. The light unit itself. All looking good. Round to the back end of the vehicle. Rear barn doors, as you can see couple of again a couple of minor little marks so first things to pay attention to is look at the rear doors they all align up as they should it has high level brake lights which are in good order we have an additional security lock on the back end of the vehicle door handles looking good and look at your door edges as i move the camera down you can see there's no heavy chipping or damage on them this vehicle does have a reverse camera factory reverse camera as you can see there and if you have a look at the top of the rear bumper it's in pretty good condition, I have to say, isn't it? No major wear or tear there, all looking pretty good. You've got factory reverse parking sensors, really, really minor little ding there. Nothing major. Opening up the doors. And look at that. So it's quite a substantial internal racking system fitted to the van. If you don't need it, we can remove it. It's not a major drama. Uh, we have yellow protective plastic lining in the back of it. There are minor signs of wear and tear on the painted bits, but nothing major. There's a lot of netting going on here just to help when you're chucking stuff in. There's a template of all the major things on the vehicle. So obviously they were, they were won by um, uh, Southern and Scottish Energy Fleet Services. We have internal pipe tubes, which is quite a nice idea, especially if you're carrying any copper about, it stops anybody nicking it. But the racking is actually pretty cool. And as you can see, it's got internal LED lighting in it as well. So there's a couple of those. And there's the other one just above our head there. Um, so really quite nice. Okay, so looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, again, all looking pretty nice, isn't it? Your rear light unit, that's all looking good. Rear bumper corner, again, that's looking good with no damage. Upper core to this side, very nice and tidy, as is your sliding door rail, that's in very nice condition as well. Lower quarter, again, all pretty good. Alloy wheel this side, another factory item with a Goodyear tyre on it. That tyre again has loads of tyre tread depth as you can see. To give you an idea, look at those arches all properly clean and dressed as well. You've got front and rear mud flaps on it. Sliding door this side, again all looking neat and tidy. Again another high security lock here. Look at your alignment of your sliding door to your rear quarter, it's all linear and as it should be. Again, your protective strip going down the sides in good order. And again, getting down low, looking at your seals. Those are in good condition as well. Sliding door itself opens up nicely, slides back nicely. Looking at your door shuts. The door shuts are in clean, tidy condition, as you can see. And 
then flooring etc inside and even more racking they are very very tidy vans aren't they well this one is they can vary as you'll see and then passenger door door glass that's all good so this is the passenger door where i think it needs a couple of parking things sorting out so again giving you the overall view of the side of the vehicle from this side there is nothing major to point out to you but there are some parking dings in this door so there's one there's one and then you've got two here haven't you um so none of them are broken the paint they are there obviously and they are but they will need sorting out so uh, we'll get the dent man on those door handles on the sliding door and the front door those are all good mirror units and the front fascias are all good and then your passenger side front wing that's in good order as well and then we have a passenger side front alloy wheel uh, with a conti tire on it and the tire tread depth's all good if not the wheel is probably the best of the four to be fair um, opening up the vehicle on the inside your passenger door card is in clean tidy condition as you can see no excessive abuse there and the entry seals this side, both the plastic step side and the painted part are in really nice tidy condition, as are all your door shuts, which are nice and clean. Top of the dashboard, again, all good. Passenger airbag, we have glove box um, with your locking wheel nut key in there, handbook pack, and obviously this is the funnel if you ever run out of fuel on them. Inside, we have an additional LED light that you can turn on with an additional button over there. Headlining's all good. Passenger seat trim, again, really, really tidy. Little bit of fluffiness on there. But overall, very, very tidy. And just to give you an idea, these flip open and you've got additional storage underneath those as well. And here's your fuel flap, and there's your add blue filler in there as well. That is your genuine Ford filler. You just put the um, the pump nozzle to it, push it in. There's nothing to unscrew off or anything like that. Whilst we're around here, we'll have a quick look at the bonnet. So to open up the bonnet, key to the left, key all the way to the right. That then opens up your bonnet. Whilst I'm doing it, trying to do it all one-handed. And underneath your bonnet, you can see nice and clean and tidy there's your windscreen wash we have brake fluid we have power steering fluid we have your oil filler yellow dipstick is down there air box is on the front there fuse box is here a coolant reservoir is there it's the correct color coolant for transit and as you can see there's no contamination in there either uh, bonnet bolts all original paintwork on there as well and overall nice and clean tidy condition under here And then round to the driver's side, and we have a driver's side door card. Let's remove the paper mat out of there that I've just screwed up and shoved in there. But as you can see, clean and tidy in there. Central locking, electric windows with electric folding mirrors. And then we have your entry sills and steps that are in good condition. Your flooring inside, rubber flooring, as you can see, in very tidy condition as well as the pedal rubbers. Those are all good. We have an additional fire extinguisher on the passenger side and your driver side seat squab. That's all nice and tidy as well, isn't it? There are just a little bit scratching here where they've left the seat belt out. It's just caught it. Uh, we'll get those touched in for you so they're less obvious. And then we have auto lights, front fog lights, rear fog lights, headlamp levelers all the central cup holder we have additional storage under here as well with a usb power 12 volt power under there as well stop start technology uh, this will turn your parking sensors off this is for your internal rear lighting in the back and then your cab light in the front some additional light up there and we have armrest on the driver's seat Dashboard, as you can see, the fascia of it is very clean and tidy. Really nice miles on it, 37,081 miles. 
We have a leather multifunction steering wheel. The leather steering wheel part is nice and chunky and it's all in good condition. Um, we have, these are all to do with your onboard computer, uh, telephone answering, we've got voice activation, volume for your stereo. We have cruise control and speed limiter, indicator lights, main beam, and then wipers and intermittent wiper speed on this side as well. I think I've already said stop start technology parking sensors and then you've got the heated quick clear for the windscreen over here if I engage reverse gear as you can see it turns your reverse camera on and then we have an FM AM stereo unit with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music mobile phone holder six-speed manual gearbox front and rear parking sensors and then there's your air conditioning with another 12 volt power there as well we also have quite handily down here your extra uh, uh, power inverter which is the Ford factory fit item so gives you a three pin plug and I believe gives you the ability to power tools charge battery packs up and stuff off there but just in between your seats and stuff hopefully you can see nice and clean and tidy the van on a whole I would say is above average condition for the year you know sometimes they can come across worse on the videos than they are in real life is the feedback that we get off customers because the iPhone camera has a habit of really highlighting marks on a vehicle that the naked eye possibly doesn't quite see as much. So there's 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, please check out our reputation online. We have testimonials, obviously, on our own web page. We've got them on Google, we've got them on Facebook, and we have, obviously, profiles on Instagram and LinkedIn. So there we go. Thank you very much for looking at the video. There's about 18 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But as I say, a lot of customers will watch these videos and just put the order in for the van and then come and collect it. Um, now, we always have to say, you know, I do my best to point everything out. There may be little bits and pieces that we may have missed. If we've missed anything, it's going to be pretty, um, you know, pretty uh, immaterial, to be honest with you. But um, there we go. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll hopefully speak later.